hello my loves welcome back to my channel so today's video as you can tell from the title i'm going to be sharing some new things that i got in from aliexpress they're like trickling in um some the new releases that are on urban gems and pretty mix studio along with some ebay finds some new stuff at joann's that i found and small business items as well okay so let's go ahead and get started i'm going to start off first of all with this kit right here so i was enabled by Ange and davina who is i think little pink crafter i believe is her name on instagram um and so yeah i saw a story and they were showing this and i thought this was so cute hey tracy boo get all the night out here girl so she has a couple of digital kits guys and i purchased four of them and um this is one of them which is the bingo cards so you get like a bunch of you can these are printouts so you can print them out on your computer hi sonia how are you so this was i thought that this was perfect because they're tiny and so like i fussy cut a bunch of these and i thought that this collection was so cute these little designs that she has and i thought that it will go perfect with that um halloween party collection that's at joann's that i got so that's why i grabbed this hey maria what's going on girl how cute are these images so yeah i seriously sat there and i fussy cut some of these and then this is from another kit and if you guys are interested, hey Robin, this is the name of her site. It is Four Keeps One of a Kind Scrapbooking Kits. Give me one second. Let me turn my fan on because I'm getting a little warm. Hopefully it ain't too loud. So really cute. All you have to do is hi Lil Lillian uh, Lynette. Hi Pen Pal Projects. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm forgetting names. Yay, you test the negative. So happy for you, girl. But look at how cute these are, guys. So these are digitals that you can print and cut. Okay. So I wasn't able to fussy cut everything. This is a total of four kits. They were really inexpensive. Some of them were $2. Some were $4. And then, then she had also had like a printable for free as well. So you guys got to check it out. I'm going to leave the link below in the description box after this post did i print like a bunch of the same one probably but they're just really cute um designs that i thought were really cute look at how pretty guys i love the color combination really adorable i gotta um refill my ink on my printer this one reminded me of the 31 uh pumpkin and then my sp spooky movies list then we have this one. So again, this was a total of four different ones. I also picked up a vintage one. I don't think that I printed anything out for that one because I was like using up all my damn ink. Look at how cute, guys. So they come in different sizes. So you guys can play with them and use them for different projects. And I like to print my um, stuff on 110 pound cardstock that I get from Hobby Lobby. It's the bomb. But it's kind of expensive. It's like $18 for a pack. But the paper is awesome. I really love the paper. I love printing on that paper. And I'm so sad that they don't have um, the coupons anymore to use. Okay. So that's the, the thing. And then I cut out some of those. Let me just show you guys how they look cut out. So many pieces. So again, with this cardstock, they're nice and thick. Just like we like them nice and thick. Look at how cute. They're adorable. So these little pieces are from the little bingo cards. Little popcorn. There's just so many different images, different sizes. Look at the candy corn. So a really nice variety. And the lady, she's super sweet. I reached out to her. And um, she just she has great customer service. I can tell that she has great customer service. She was able to help me. So I'm going to put the link. Look at the, um, I love this haunted house with the little tiny kitty. Trick or treats. Yes, these are going to go good with a lot of collections, guys. So look at how tiny the bingo card. The bingo card, I think, is a must. I got other things here. Let's ignore all that. Okay, so that is that collection there. It's a total of four. So I'm going to put the website. Um, and I'm also going to put her Instagram 
So you guys can um, grab it if you like. Okay. So that is that. Let me show you guys what I got from Allie, some stuff from Allie. So you guys know I'm obsessed with this tool. Um, I was sewing. I miss sewing. I haven't sewn in quite some time. Um, I can't find the other one right now. But this is the the um, web lace that I showed you guys last time on my channel from Amazon. How beautiful is this, guys? Oh, I love the look of this. You guys have to grab this from Amazon. It was in my last haul. The link is in that last haul that I did. And it's beautiful. Hi, Anna. Are you fussy cutting all that small stuff? I did, girl. Um, I reached out to her and I asked her for, uh, what is it, a PDF, I believe, or a JPEG? I don't know. I get them all confused. But hopefully, um, she, she did change it for me. And hopefully, I can cut it on my silhouette. So that's why I'm saying she has great customer service. So I grabbed that one. I grabbed these two. These are like the ones that Tara sent me some samples of. I have them right here. They're gorgeous. So you can see the iridescent. They're gorgeous, guys. So I'll put the, cra uh, the link for these if you guys are interested. I also grabbed the pink. Really beautiful trim. Y'all know I'm obsessed with tool. I love tool. I feel like you can never have enough tool. All right. And then from Ali, I also picked up some of these cabochons. Came in these really cute bags. Oh, I was doing so good not ordering from AliExpress. Look at these cute little bags. These are adorable. And so I grabbed these. They're so cute, guys. You get a bunch of them. How adorable are those? Little kitty coming out the pumpkin. I can't remember the price, but I will put the link to these in the description box. So it's nothing for you to turn these into a charm. All you got to do is glue one of those clear bales. Look at how cute. Little haunted house. I don't know if you can see the details. Yeah. They're adorable. I could not leave any of these behind. You like the kitty? Ellie has been getting me in trouble. And then they had that sale, so I grabbed some stuff from the sale. So things are slowly uh, trickling in here and there. Look at these. Look at this ghost. So cute, guys. They're so cute. Okay. And then one more. This one's probably one of my favorites. I love these bags. I'm going to keep these bags. They're cute. You like the ghost? And then these little kitties on the broom. Isn't that cute? They are so adorable. So I'll put the links if you guys are interested. I thought these were super cute. Let's keep going because I got a lot of stuff to show you guys. As usual. So this one right here. I was trying to look for the link for um, Jenny because she is a Hello Kitty freak. And it was unavailable. So this might not be available. I'm still going to link it if I can. If you don't see the link for it, that means that it's not available anymore. But it's a Hello Kitty little bo bead box. How cute are these guys? It opens up on the side. And it's pink. They had clear too. I should have grabbed more than one. But it was adding up on me. So I just grabbed one. But I'm so mad I didn't grab more than one. They had a bunch of different shapes and stuff. But the Hello Kitty ones were the cutest ones. So I grabbed that. I grabbed some of these tassels. They're the like three layer ones that I got from BB Craft. Remember, um, oh, this one's missing a bottom with a heel. The foot. Okay, this one's missing a piece. But they're three layer tassels. Let me comb them out because they're looking a little nappy. Okay. But black gray and white i grabbed those 
So you can also get these from BB Craft. I just ordered them off Ali. I didn't compare the prices. I'm not sure which one is cheaper. And then I grabbed these because I knew it would go with a lot of other collections that I have. So they're really pretty. So I grabbed those. I got these um, little ghosts, these silicone. Guys, I've been loving these silicone beads. And on Etsy, they're so damn expensive. So you definitely are better off ordering them off of Allie. Look at how cute they are. They're little ghosts. And you guys know that I've been using the pumpkin ones on my beaded little dangles. So now I got the little ghosties. Little ghost homies. And they come in these three colors. And you get a nice amount. So I grab that. So many cute things on Alley, guys. If you don't want to get in trouble, don't go on that damn site. I'm telling you right now. Do not go. I grab these little charms here. They're little brooms. Really cute. They're like a burnt orange. You get a nice little amount. I'm going to put these right here so I can put them away when I'm done. I grab these coffins. They're black coffin charms. Really pretty. I'm on like full Halloween mode. These are so cute, guys. Oh, my God. I'm obsessed with these. I can't remember if I saw another shape or not. I really forgot that I ordered these. But they're little ghost bells. I don't know if you guys hear that. Look at how cute they are. I have to give myself a, pre a present budget before I go on. Yes, girl. Because I'm telling you, it's so easy to like. That stuff racks up on you, man. All right, what else? So I grabbed those. I grabbed these beads here. They're really pretty. You know what? Anna, see, she probably sent me the link to these because she's awesome. She's always sending me links to, like, pretty things. I grabbed these beads here. They're gorgeous. These are like an ombre. Look at how gorgeous they are, guys. So pretty. And then these are the same, but in a different color scheme. So I like these little odd shapes because sometimes they make like really cute, you know, other things that they make other things sometimes. So I like to find little odd shapes like that. They come in handy. I grab these little charms here. I love this little um, birthday balloon dog. Like, I'm obsessed with this little design. So, the gold. And it's a really pretty gold. These are charms. You get a nice little amount. And then, I also got it in the pink. They had yellow. They had white. They had some other colors. But they kind of add up. So, I just grabbed two colors. I grabbed the gold and the pink. They're so cute, guys. So these are great for like birthday mail and stuff like that. I said that I was going to do like a birthday series. One day I'll get to it, I swear. Because I have enough stuff to craft for it for sure. Um, I picked up some of these jump rings. Now these guys, they really add up. I had to limit myself on the colors. I wanted to grab every damn color. Because they have like light pink. They have so many colors. So I grabbed the black for Halloween, of course. And you get a lot of pieces. There's 100 pieces in here. I grabbed the white. So if you guys saw my BB Craft um, project share video. Or the Craft With Me video. You saw how like these make a big difference on your projects. Like it just adds a little something extra. You know. This mint color turquoise. And then this pink. Okay. Let me set these over here. So I'll put them away when I'm done. And then I grabbed uh, some dies. I grabbed quite a few of dies, but these are the ones that came in so far. 
So these are so cute. They're the tiny little swans with the little heart accent on the butt. I think Natalie sent me the link to this one. My friends are terrible. They're just as bad as me. This one says trick or treat and it's got the little um, spider web. This witch, Tara sent me this witch. Of course, Tara sent me the witch. <laughs> She's sexy. She's so pretty. And then I got this from KS Craft. It's this little popcorn die. Yes, black and white, you're right, girl. It goes with everything. You're so right. It's this little popcorn die on KS Craft. You can turn into a shaker. I think like all her dyes, you can turn into shakers. But it has the word yummy here. You get these uh, popcorn kernels that you can put on top. And then you get the layering pieces. <coughs> so you can like pop it up on dimensions or whatever to make it look dimensional. So I can't wait to play with this. I think it's going to be really cute. And then I grabbed these little confettis from KS Craft. They're the pastel colors. They're like little clay pieces. So you get it in pink, purple, blue, green, and yellow. All right, so those are all my alley finds, guys. Let me get some of this stuff out the way. So again, if you don't see the link to something, just um, leave a comment on the video because that will be my reminder. Guys, honestly, my mind is just going so bad. Sometimes I just forget so many things. So just send me a friendly reminder and I will have that on there. All right, let's move on to Joanne's. Actually, that's the Pretty Mix Studio. So Natalie got some new um, items. She's once I, I said before, she's now uh she's not on Etsy anymore. So you cannot find her on Etsy. You have to go to her website, which is prettymixstudio.com. Okay. So she sent me some new goodies. Thank you so much, Natalie. Here's her card. You can reach her. This is her site right here, okay? That's her email. You have four kids. It's amazing. Girl, I know. Oh, my God. Do you guys ever forget your kids' like birthday and stuff? I do that shit all the time. I'm like, when's your birthday again? It's terrible. You know, she always has beautiful packaging. Oh, my God, girl. These are fire. What? Okay. So let's see what we got in here. She stuffed these bad boys. Oh my God, I love these boxes. So these are her new glitters, okay? Her new release are some glitters for Halloween. Guys, these are so beautiful. Oh my God. Now, let me start by saying that you can use these glitters for so many things, not only for your crafts. You guys can use them on resins. You can use them for your nails. You can use them on all kinds of things, okay? So, first of all, she made these uh, labels and everything, guys. She put so much work into her stuff. So, look at this one. Black cat fur. And this one is a black glitter that looks like actual fur. So, I don't know if you guys can see that. They look like little strands of fur. Hi, Lexi. Gorgeous. So, we are. I'm definitely going to be making some projects with these glitters. So if you guys are interested, make sure that you snatch them, okay? Because by the time that I do a project share, they're probably going to be sold out. A lot of her stuff on her site is sold out. So this next one is Raven Tongue. And this is a black glitter. Like, it's got like iridescent to it. When you guys look on the site, you'll see a better picture. I don't want to put this on my hands because you guys know how glitter is. Glitter is the devil. Look at how pretty, guys so gorgeous there's like little iridescent holographic glitters in there and everything and look at the size of these bottles they're bomb hi lala Hoo -hoo, what's going on girl and look at these these are so gorgeous this is the pink one it's called owl eyes she should have called this night owls but whatever look at how pretty so these are her glitter mixes guys she mixes these and they're gorgeous okay and then we got the purple one. These glass, these bottles are bomb, man. Wow. Which is brew. And how gorgeous is this purple one? 
So I'm excited to see like what everyone's gonna do with these glitters, you know, because you can do so much with glitters. And then she also has these glitters. Oh my God, look at these jars, Natalie. Look at these jars, they're gorgeous. So you guys know I always do my cupcake liner rosettes and I like to put these on the edges. This is a beautiful mix. It's like a pink. She does have the pink snow. And there's two ounces of this glitter. I love that you put the name on here, Natalie. <laughs> this one is called Angel Wings. And it is a white glitter. So you guys can see in comparison. They're gorgeous, guys. Look, at there's little stars in there and everything. What? Beautiful. And these have, like, the chunky flakes. So these are perfect for resins. They're going to look really good in your resins, guys. All right. So those are all of her new glitters. Let's see what else we got up in here. Up in here. So she's got these little bats that I love. You guys saw that we use these on some of my projects. As well as the little gold um, pumpkins. You get both of them in a pack. And look at her new logo for Halloween. So cute. All right. These. Oh, my God. Look at those pumpkins. Oh, my God. I hate to rip this shit. I hate that she staples this shit because I feel bad ripping it. Hi, Sam. So how cute are these, guys? You get the candies and the little kitties in one. These are so cute. Okay. Got those. So, guys, if you like any of the stuff, you need to be snatching it right now because the last time I did my video, I went on their site to link everything and everything was sold out. I was like, damn heathens. So if you see anything you like, you better go grab it. Look at these. Oh, my God. These are so cute. Oh, my God. I have to buy some of these right after this live. They're so small and cute, guys. I love the size. They're gorgeous. They're, like, transparent. They look like jelly. Oh, my God. I love them. So pretty. I got to get an extra of that one. Y'all better save me one. I'm going to be pissed. I'm going to put in more links for you guys if you buy my shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Hold on. And then we have these Haunted House ones. These are pretty. These are nice and thin. Look at how cute, guys. So they're black, orange, and then the clouds are gray. They're so cute. It's like a smoky gray. Okay. And guys, don't forget, you can use my code Poochie 10 If you purchase anything from her site, she also has free shipping if you spend 40 or more. So we got this little fat-ass little ghost. Thicker than a snicker. She has this in different colors, guys. Remember last time we used, I think, the pink one. They're so cute. So we have the black, the white, the blue... And I believe she has the pink available as well. It might be sold out. But she got these little thickums. All right. And then this box. She really jam-packed these boxes. <laughs> Look at these black little pom-poms. Let me open this up. Don't you hate that when you don't get anything and then you see it and you be like, damn, I should have got that. Look at these little furry balls. Black little furry balls. All right. So cute. Perfect for Halloween. These XOXO charms. You can use these any time of the year. They're cute, guys. Especially for uh, Valentine's Day. These little candy ones. Look at the resins in these. What? They're so pretty. Look at how gorgeous. Look at, see, I got that glitter on me. Look at how pretty. They're so pretty. And then we got these little ghosties. Oh, my God. They're so cute, guys. Look at how cute they are. I need to grab more of these. I'm obsessed. Those little orange pumpkins are sold out. Oh, no. 
I'm going to cuss her out. Look at these, guys. Pink peppermints. I know some people are crafting for um, Christmas right now. So these are perfect. Grab these now because they're going to, by the time everyone starts crafting Christmas, you know what I mean? Like, they're going to be sold out. So thank you for the goodies, Natalie. You guys go check out her site. Don't forget to use my code Pucci10 to save another 10% off of your purchase. All right, guys? She has great prices. Her customer service is amazing. Y'all already know. Every All of you guys have ordered from her before, I'm pretty sure. So let me move this to the side. Oh, my God. So many goodies. Oh, my God. I'm so mad that those are sold out. All right. What's next? Let's go to Joanne's. So I snuck to Joanne's. Why the hell did I do that? So a lot of this was from the Labor Day sale. They had um, some sales going on. It was like everything was on sale. Buy one, get one free for the paper pads. And then you got another 25% off of your entire purchase if you um, ordered online. And then you also got free shipping if you spent over a certain amount. So that's what I did. I grabbed these DC WV Halloween Party um, stamps. So this goes perfect with the Halloween Party collection. Look at how cute, guys. You guys can emboss with these. And then it's got a little bat die that goes corresponds with that. Do you have ideas on how to use those Halloween charms for projects or danglers? I need some inspiration. Yes, girl. Check out my um, Instagram. There's like a lot of, I do a lot of dangles and stuff like that. Really, you can hang them on all kinds of embellishments and stuff like that. I like to do that. This one is from the Haunted Harvest collection. And I thought this one was beautiful. Like, look at that frame. And the frame has a die. There's a die on top of there. And then these florals are gorgeous. I love the florals. So these correspond to those paper pads, guys. I just grabbed two of those. Hi, Clarissa. And then I grabbed these two um, trims. These are not available in store. I think these are just an online thing. Look at how cute this trim is, guys. Look at this trim. Why he mad, though? He's so mad. Why he mad? You mad. <laughs> I hope y'all heard that song before. And then this one here. These also all the trims were half off when I ordered. They're probably not on sale now, guys, but just keep an eye out and you'll catch it on sale. Look at how beautiful this trim is. What? It's so gorgeous. I love me some trims, guys. Like I love trims. What, the, what don't I love? I love everything except for caca silver. So I grabbed those from online. And then I went inside the store. And all the Tim Holtz stuff is not on sale, but I had to grab this. They had quite a few. I'm, every time I go, I'm going to try to snatch one of these because once these are gone, they're gone, okay? This is the coffin, and um, it's like a really pretty wood. This was $10.99, but it had, they had a half-off coupon, so I use it on this. And this one has one shelf, okay? So it just has this top piece, and then this, this bottom piece is really big. So you can, um, you know, put bigger items or whatever in here. So I can't wait to play with this. I've never altered one of these. And I'm looking forward to doing it. I grabbed. Let me see. I grabbed a bunch of trims. Of course. High range. Hope you are all well. Gorgeous trims. Thank you. Do they not ship there? I know some companies do ship. Let me grab all these trims and show you guys. So these trims were on sale. I don't remember what the price, the sale. I think they were half off. Yeah, they were half off. So the reason why I blame all this shit on V, who is buzzing with V, I blame her ass for all this shit that I bought because um, she tagged me in one of her videos and I was watching it and she showed this trim that she used and I can't, I saw it a bunch of times but I didn't care for it. I was like, uh, I don't know, it's alright. But when she made a bow with it, it was so pretty, guys. So she is the reason why I went to Joann's and spent all this damn money. So I had to grab this one. Okay, it's um, transparent. See through in the, minute, in the middle. I grabbed this one here. I thought this one was cute. 
It has like the little witch hands and the uh, crystal ball. Girl, I have no good storage for trim, Maria. My trim is just all on these things and they're like in ba big bags everywhere. Like, honestly, I need to find a system. I really don't like taking these trims off of these things. Um, even though they're so bulky, like, I don't know. I just really like my trims to stay on here. I have tried like taking trims and wrapping them around, um, you know, those car stock tags or whatever. And they do save up room, but I just, I don't know. I find that like, I don't know. I personally don't care for that storage system. So I'm still trying to find a storage system for that girl. But look at how cute these bows are from this uh, trim. I thought it was really cute. And I'm going to layer this with another one. And then I put some of that um, spider web tool that I hauled from Amazon. So that it can be easy for me to like dingle, be the, you know, put a little dingle, be dingle or whatever. So I grabbed that trim. This one was so beautiful, guys. And um, I'll probably do a tutorial. We'll make some bowls because I do want to do that for my swap that I'm hosting. I want to give you guys some inspiration. So I will be having some videos available. So black and orange. It's got the glitter. Really pretty. Then I grabbed this one here. This one's like a 3 8 of an inch. $3.99. I wish this one came in different colors. This would have been so pretty in black and pink. And then this one here is so pretty as well. They have a lot of like napkins and all kinds of stuff with this print. I really like it. It's cute. I love the white background. I'll be doing a video, um, Lexi. And then I grabbed this one. Look how cute. So it's like netted. I'm a sucker for polka dot. The black and orange is pretty. Yes. And the black and orange is perfect for Halloween, I feel like. So look at this one. This one's beautiful. This color is so beautiful. It's a really pretty orange. So they got the black. And then they have the orange with the black dots and the glitter. So beautiful, guys. So if you're interested in these... Go snatch them because at my, I don't know about your joints, but they're like, people are really snatching them up and they're getting hard to find. All right. What else? What else do I got up in here? So the Tim Holtz said stuff, I like I said, it was not on sale. But I did grab two of these little coffin, um, not coffin, the tombstone things because it was the last one left. The Tim Holtz stuff is like flying off the shelves as well. And then I only found these beads here. All the beads were half off when I went. And I grabbed this one because of this cauldron. Like, oh my God, look at this cauldron bead. So cute. And then the little witch hat, this little pumpkin. So these are lamp work um, beads and they're really expensive. The regular price was $14.99. So I just grabbed one because it was $7.50 and that was still was like a lot for me. I'm using up what I have this year. I know girl, I need to do it too, but I gotta see what the new things are. I don't wanna miss out. Like there's so many things that I missed out on that I can't find anymore. I also picked up, oh, here goes these little tiny skull beads. Let me grab these. Try not to pull out the big 12 by 12. They only have one, two, Anna. So I grabbed these little tiny skull beads. They're really small guys, which I love because a lot of the skull beads that I have are big. So all the beads were half off. I can't remember the price. I think they were like $5.99. So there were three bucks after the discount. And then I grabbed this Halloween Town. Because Wendy shared um, a project for the swap that she's working on. And it had this pretty turquoise page. And I was like, wait a minute. So I had to go back and grab this. It was buy one, get one free. 
And let me just do a flip through of the six by six. So they're double-sided papers. And this one has like um, gold foil, not gold foil, purple foil accents. Here's the back. There's two of every, see that purple foil? So that last one that I got with the net went perfect with this. That's why I grabbed it. The little ghosts are so cute. Here's the back. I bought the little spiders that Louisa shared. I didn't see them. These little candies. The stripes. This one had like um, a stamp set to go with it as well. This It had this card. So if you guys are into this collection, check out the stickers and all the stuff that goes with it. I'm loving the little tiny little skulls, the little prints that they have on here this year. Yes, girl, the buy one, get one free is the bomb. Especially if you guys can do pick up in store, do it. I would have saved so much more money if I would have did that. There's the back of that one. So this page kind of threw me off. I don't know. I guess that's why I didn't like it so much. But it's still a pretty, really pretty um, collection. Definitely different from all the other ones that I have. Then we have this one. That purple foil is so pretty. And you don't see it much. Like, look at this page. It's gorgeous. You see that purple foil? Really beautiful. Here's the back with the little pumpkin faces. And then the little trick-or-treaters. Here's the back. So gorgeous. The little haunted houses. Are you saying that it's $2? Lala? Look at this one right here. So cute. So, I don't know. I don't see the turquoise. Maybe her picture just looked like it. It's more baby blue. But it's still a really cute collection. So you guys check it out. Halloween Town. Really, really cute. Bye, Lala. So I grabbed that. That's everything from Joanne that I grabbed. And then um, let me clear some stuff off my desk, guys. Oh, my God. Here, how cute is this trim? I love this trim, so cute. What is your favorite Halloween collection that you're crafting with this year? So far, definitely um, 31, but I'm excited to start playing with Halloween, um, uh, Halloween party the one from Joanne's with the pinks and the holographic. I, I can't wait to get my hands on that one and play with it. Um, okay, so then the guys. We're half off online on Joann's. So I grabbed some of those. I feel like I'm missing one. Here it is. So these were super cheap, guys. If they were, they were like $11, $12, I had to snatch them. They add up, okay? So if you guys see them on sale, grab them because you're going to, you're going to get a better deal if they're half off than any other sale that they got going on. Okay. So I grabbed this one. I ordered that paper pad. I can't wait to get it. It's so cute girl. And then this pumpkins. I was so happy to find the pumpkins because they didn't have it at the last Joanne's that I went to. So I was so happy to get it online. The witch one. And I had this from Allie as well. So I kind of want to do a comparison and see, you know, how they are in comparison from Allie. And then I, I had to grab the trick-or-treaters. This one was expensive as hell. It was $24.99, whatever half off of that is. But, oh, my God, it's so cute. Like, look at the Frankenstein. I love the Frankenstein. He's adorable. And like I said before, these dyes, they're different from his usual ones. That they, they have, like, a lot of different layers. Like, I don't know if you can tell. Like, those, all those different colors that are on the Frankenstein's face are different layers, different pieces. So there are a lot of work to put together, but they're so cute. So I grabbed those from online. You're probably better finding them online than you are finding them in the store. 
Um, because my store personally didn't have nothing. All right. So I got the cocoa and reno dice finally. And so I cut them out. It came in this green bag with a zombie. I'm not really feeling the little zombie or whatever, but there are some cute ones in here. Um, I was really hyped up about these dies. And I don't know. I just, I was just, I don't know. They're really cute, but there's just some of them. I don't know. Like last year's, I was in love with all of them. Like, I don't really care for this one. Frankie, like, hey, give me your candy. Right. This little skull. This zombie one. I just think, like, I'm not into stuff like this. But I think that these will come in handy one day. You never know. You know what I mean? It might be perfect. This witch is so cute. I'm going to show you guys how they look cut out as well, okay? You get the Halloween, which I love. It's a really beautiful text. The two little candies. This little um, kitty. I don't understand the point of this frog with the wings. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't understand that one. And then this one, it says, it's a pumpkin, and it says or. It's supposed to say or in the middle. There's two other ones that um, I have somewhere on my desk. I'm just going to show you what they look like cut out. My Joanne says Tim Holtz is flying. It is, girl. Tim Holtz, you, you know what? I don't think that Tim Holtz has had his dyes available at Joanne's in a few years. You guys can let me know. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I don't think that he's had them, girl. So there goes the little frog. I cut it out of black glitter paper. So here's the ore with the pumpkin. And this one actually goes with this one. So this is the one I didn't show you guys. It says trick treat. So you're supposed to like put it here. And it says trick or treat. So this one's really cute. I love it. Like I love the details. It's got the little witch hat on the tee. The little spiders. It's really adorable. So there's that one. Here is the witch. I love the witch. I think she's so pretty. Look at her silhouette of her face. And then it's got the details in her hair. So this is going to look perfect with like a big circle for the moon behind it. Like she's flying over the moon. We got the little candies. The Frankenstein. The zombie. I'm obsessed. This is my favorite one, guys. This haunted house is the bomb. Like, how cute is that haunted house? So adorable. That's another one that I didn't show. It's somewhere on my desk, guys. We got this little um, skull head and the Halloween. Look how pretty that text is. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this set. Um, But what I'm really happy with is the stamp set, okay? I never buy stamps, the stamp set, because I don't stamp. You guys know I hate to stamp. But when I saw it online, I had to snatch it up, okay? I'm waiting for it to come in. When it comes in, I will show you guys. It is badass, okay? I never order stamps from really anywhere, especially Coco Reno, because I already paid for the dyes, you know what I mean? But that one, I had to have, and I really regret not getting the one last year, because the last year, the... Stamp set was really cute too. So you guys let me know what you think about the dyes this year for Coco and Reno for Halloween. They always do such a great job on Halloween. I always look forward to their Halloween dyes. So I wasn't in love with them at first, but they really are. There's some that I really love and I'm starting to love this set. Okay. Let me get all my dyes in here. I'm sorry, guys. Or else I'll be missing some dyes. Like, right now, they're on my table. And then you guys know you always get this cute little bag. Some kind of cute little bag. Okay, so let me put this in here. That's from Coco and Reno. I picked up some stuff from eBay. So I got this Brenda Walton um, die from one of my friends because she loves Brenda Walton. And I thought this would be really cute, like as a layering piece for a Christmas embellishment or even to make like an ornament. 
And it's pretty big. I love that it came with a box and everything. So it's a really nice size. So I got this for a really great price. It was only 12 bucks on eBay. eBay has, def has definitely been getting all my little coins. I won this punch from a bid. I hate bidding, guys. I really do. This one was so cool. It actually, it's a spider. And it cuts it. It makes like a doily, like the edge of a doily. It says you're supposed to use it with this thing. I don't have that. So I don't know. I got to see if this is going to work out for me. And I got to see if I can find the starter set. It says that it's required and it's sold separately. But I'm thinking I might be able to just use it with a circle punch. So we'll see. I've never seen this one before. You like the bag? And then um, I bought this one. I was really like, I was not I was unsure about this punch right here. But it goes perfect with the Gather collection. And this is what it punches out as. So I got a great deal on this. And then Ana C, she enabled me to grab these. Everybody's been making beautiful pokey tools. You guys can order a pokey tool from my friend Anna. Um, but I didn't have any interest in making them because they're all silver. And y'all already know how I feel about silver. What's up with this bag? Let me just cut this. So Anna sent she showed on her channel some rose gold pins and I was like girl I need the link to that and this is what they look like so they all came out the plastic so they're rose gold and they're cute they got this little like eye on top so I can make these tools now so if you guys are interested, I will put the link for this. This is from Amazon. I'll link it below if you guys are interested, okay? Just let me know in the comment section. I know people say you can spray paint them and all that stuff, but I don't got time for that shit. I don't got time. And then these are also from eBay. These are Hero Arts Fancy Dyes. How cute is this one? And then I also grabbed this one. This one's my favorite. I love this tiny little um, spider web. And the cauldron is so cute. Those eyes on that cat is freaking me out. But how cute is this one? So these are actually available on um, eBay right now. So just type it in, guys. Type in fancy dyes, whatever. And they should come up. They have a couple of them left if you guys are interested, okay? So that's from eBay. Um, I placed the order with Ebony. You guys know she's been making those bomb trims. I was a good girl this time. I didn't grab much. The rose gold pokey tools are from um, Amazon. I'll put the link in there, Mama. Um, thanks again for your support, friend. I love her little logo. So, you guys, she is the uh, sweet. She's the crafty girl. I believe I'm a leaker. I always forget her damn Instagram name. But this is what I grabbed. Oh, she gave me a thank you. I love this. Ebony this came out badass. This is from, I think the set trim from Dollar Tree. The fabric from Dollar Tree. So she was selling this one and I had to snatch it. It's holographic with black. So I grabbed two. I think they're like $5 for a yard. Yeah. And she always sends like little freebies with her gift with uh, a gift with your order Let's see what she got this time oh okay girl i see you she sent some die cuts this is a nice touch ebony and they are holographic really great touch girl love it and these are like little charms like they have like a little hole so cute
Poke, the one who's making Poke tools and selling them is my friend Ana La Cubana. She is Anna's Handmade Creations, spelled with one N. So A-N-A-S, Handmade Creations. I'm going to link her below so you can place an order with her, girl. Um, check out her Instagram, and you can see some that she still has available. And she can also make you a custom one if you have, like, a color scheme that you want or something like that. I have quite a few from her. She made me this one here. I still have it in the package. I haven't used this one. She makes beautiful pokey tools. She puts pretty charms. Beautiful beads. And this one's my favorite. I use this one all the time. So you guys can place an order with her, okay? She's the bomb. She makes beautiful things. And if you are in my um, swap, She's going to be giving away... She'll probably be giving away one. Somebody will win one, probably. All right. So, she sent me another little bag. Yeah, yeah. So, since I ordered two trims, I got two. Thank you, Ebony. This is a great touch, girl. I love it. Love, love, love the freebies. Goes perfect with that trim. All right. So, you guys place an order with Ebony... If something is not available, like if you don't see it anymore, just message her. Tell her that I sent you through and tell her that you want to get some more of that trim. Does she have any available? And she'll let you know if she has it or not. All right. So that's from Ebony. Got a few more things to show you guys. And then I'm going to show you Urban Gems new stuff. I was going to save tarot stuff for less. Okay, so this is from eBay. I was so happy to find these. All right. So this die here is the old Sizzix die, and it's a little circus tent. I thought this would be great for carousel. I got this for really cheap. And Tara enabled me to get these. I've been searching for these guys for quite some time. They're really expensive. I got these both for 20 bucks, which was really cheap. These were going like $30, $40 for like one of these with some other punches. So she put a bunch of these like confettis in here. Let me see. I got some scrap paper. No, I got some scrap paper somewhere. Let's use this. This one is so cute, guys. So, like, if you had a circle, you can just punch this, and it'll punch out the face in there. Let me show you guys. See that? So cute. I had to have this one. And then you also get the little pieces, so you can paper piece it if you like. And then I love this cat. It's so adorable. So she put this as, like, sequin scatter. In my package, and it was so cute. Look at the tiny little kitty, guys. It's so cute. I love it. So, if you guys could find this for a great deal, snatch them because they're rare and they are retired. Okay, so cute. I'm happy I found those. All right, so that is everything from my haul. I'm gonna go ahead and share the new stuff at Urban Gems. Okay, guys. Now, if you don't get a hold of this, that's on you. Don't say I didn't tell you. I've been blasting it all over of Instagram. Oh, guys, I also got an order from Crafty Mom of Two. Her name is Andrea. She crochets the most prettiest things. And so I hit her up. And I was like, hey, girl, can you make me a... What do you call those um, things? A coaster, like a, you know, like a coaster thing for my desk. And I wanted to be in the shape of a candy corn. And look at this, guys. She delivered... Oh, my God. So bomb. These are um, EK Success. So type in Jack-O-Lantern EK Success Punch or something like that. Look at this, guys. It's so beautiful. Oh, my gosh. You did such a great job. So if you guys are interested in grabbing these, message her. Tell her that I sent you, that you saw my candy corn coaster. So I can put my waters on here because it gets all over my desk sometimes because I like my waters with ice and stuff. 
So it kind of leaks everywhere. So it's going to be perfect. I'm going to be scared to put my water on. I don't want to mess it up. How beautiful is this, guys? And you guys can tell her what colors you want. She'll tell you if she has it available. But I thought this would be perfect for Halloween. All right. So let's go to the Urban Gems, guys. And I'm going to be done with y'all for the night. I know you guys are almost done with me. All this stuff I'm showing. Okay, let's see. Oh, my God, Tara. You're the best, girl. <laughs> so I was complaining because I couldn't find my little ghosties that she sent me. And so she sent me a bag of some more. Thank you, Tara. I need to add these to my 31 mix. How cute are those little ghosts? Hey, Cheryl's. So, guys, don't forget when you're shopping with Urban Gems. Okay, so if you place an order with her, she always sends little cute things like this in your package. She usually scatters them. But I hate it when she does that. So, thank you for putting that in there for me, Tara. I appreciate that, girl. And she'll send you, like, little handmade things sometimes if you're lucky. So, this is her way of crafting. You know, you get to, you get to see the stuff that she has available. This is the 31 collection that she has available in her shop. She has these buttons in her shop. All this stuff you can find in her shop, okay? So really great if you get any of her handmade things you're lucky okay so really nice touches from urban gems she sent me some rosettes yes girl these are bomb so she has the vellum available as well this is the vellum from 31 oh you sent me the coffee cup let me put this box down because i gotta look at these cups girl Yes, these are so cute. She can't find this die. Made with love, Tara. So how cute are these cups, man? So this paper, she has all this paper paper available. This is that tonic paper. Um, this is that other Sizzix paper that I showed you guys, the ombre one that has all the different um variety, the variety pack. Oh, Tara, these are so pretty, girl. Thank you. So gorgeous. All these papers you can get with or grab from Urban Gems. I need this, Tara. If you end up watching this, I need this. Put me a pack or two to the side so I can buy it. Okay. So if you get any of these handmade things, cherish it, guys. You guys know Tara is the OG, triple OG. I used to always watch her stuff. I love her embellishment videos. And she's infamous for her little rosettes. Tara, I'm so happy that you put these in my box, girl. I screamed a little when I saw these. Oh, my God. I've always seen people playing with these, and I never got my hands on these. I think this might have been from Michael's at one point. So thank you for sharing with me, girl. Been fighting white dots with my throat. Sore and red, so I'm up. And I'm sorry you don't feel well, Cheryl. I hope that you feel better, girl. Praying for healing. Look at how cute. Thank you for sharing with me, Tata. All right, let's get into my order because I got to go. All right. She also sent me some stickers. These were from um, Target at one point. Oh, girl. You're so sweet. She sent me these uh, Sizzix dies. This is an old Tim Holtz one, guys. So this one actually it cuts into whatever it doesn't have an edge to it i hope that makes sense so it won't cut out a strip you just kind of like you can put it on the side of a tag and it'll cut the just the these pieces out and then she sent me this one so unfortunately these are sold out they're not available this is a new collection that is in her shop it is by simple story so guys if you don't know Crate papers, designers have went to simple stories. And so you're going to see like a lot of similarities between these collections and crate paper collections, okay? This one is called Holly Days. And let me show you guys what it looks like. My desk, my desk is jam-packed right now, like always. Shit. Hold on. Let me try to move these. All right. So this is the 12 by 12 kit. This is my design team kit. So this 
So I am going to be playing with this. I think you are Tarot's best customer. <laughs> yes, girl. So these are the thickers that come with it. Really thick and cute, guys. Like, look at how that is. That. And then on the back, it has the numbers. So you can do like an advent theme. An advent calendar, I believe is what it's called. By Anna. The chipboards. So guys, look at these chipboards. They're very similar to crepe paper. Look at that. Got a little fat ass Santa. He's so cute and chunky. So I love the color scheme. Pink, kind of like the Hey Santa from last year. This one's only single sided. And then here are the papers. Let me try to open them. Good night, Mama. I hope you feel better. So, guys, these are new releases from Terra Shop, okay? So, if you did not get your hands on it, grab it if you can. And use my code Pucci10 to get 10% off, the extra 10% off. Because once they're gone, they're gone, okay? This is the new collection called, what did I say it was called? Holidays? Yeah, Holidays. All right, so look at this. Totally crepe paper. Got the roses. You like simple stories? Look at the fa-la-la in the back. So these are all double-sided, guys. This one with the presents. So pretty. I'm probably going to fussy cut these. These would make great ephemeras. And then here's the back. It's got this lime green. I typically don't like lime green, but I am loving it in this next collection that I'm going to show you. Just so you know, I wear the heck out of Poochie 10. <laughs> Girl, you better use that code. Get that extra discount. She already has great prices, so use that code, y'all. Get that extra percent. Look at this. So cute. He's so cute with his little blush cheeks. I love the pink stockings, of course. And I love the mix of baby blue and pink in this collection. Here's the back for all the hoes. Ho, ho, ho. So pretty. You know, they always got to have a house in these collections. So, again, I love the pink and the baby blue in this collection. So pretty. So this is a 12 by 12 kit. She also has a 6 by 8, I believe. And make sure you guys read um, the description because it will tell you everything that's in the collection. It's totally crepe paper right here. So again, it's a simple stories, but the designers from crepe paper have been going over to simple stories. And I'm here for it, okay? Because crepe paper is tripping. They haven't been bringing nothing out lately. They are tripping. The tags. So pretty, guys. Here's the back. It has, like, white tags. Some of them have journaling spots. The cut-aparts. This one's cute. Here's the back. This one has like the little advent countdown for Christmas. Here's the back of that one. So I will be playing with this um, probably in a couple of weeks because I still have some Halloween stuff I want to get out. I don't know, girl. I have no clue on why they left. Look, I love the rose instead of the poinsettia. Like, I love that. Look at this one. This is my favorite one. It's so pretty. It's like candy cane. It's pretty, girl. I'm telling you. And then, my witch has to keep falling. These are the stickers that come with the 12 by 12 kit. Really cute, guys. 
I'm going to show you some of them upside down. The little chunky sandal. He's so cute. And you guys know I'm here for these little sentiments. I'm always... What time is it? I was on the way. Hi, Tracy. It's late, girl. It's night out hour. It's night out hours for sure. I don't even know what time it is. It's probably like one o'clock over here. Hi, Nuana. So, guys, that is the um, what is it called again? Holly Days from Simple Stories that you can get at Urban Gems. That's a twelve by twelve kit. Okay. She also has. These frames, the chipboard frames. Oh, these are nice, guys. You can make beautiful shakers out of these. Holly Days. Right there. Holly Days. It comes with six frames. These are cute. Let me open these up. These are going to make bomb-ass shakers on the top of, like, your book covers, your embellishment book covers. If you scrapbook, look at how cute this frame is. Oh, my God. I love it. What? It's 330? Probably like, okay, so if it's 1230 in Cali, then it's 230 here in Chicago. Look at how cute this one is. Oh, you guys got to get these frames. They're cute. When I do my design team project, I got to use these. I definitely got to use these. Can you imagine this with some pretty glitter tool, pink glitter tool? Oh, my God. And then this one is like a double frame. Very cute. Look at Santa. He's so cute. And this one's a double frame as well. So it has two sides. So these are the frames that go with the collection. That's one thing I love about Tara's kits is that you don't have to search for all the collection. You know, you get most of the collection in one kit. Oh my gosh, it's 8 in the morning in the UK. So you're just getting your day started. Isn't it pretty? I'm really liking it, guys. For real. At first, I was like, ah. I don't know why I'm like that. I always, like, I see things, I'm like, ah. And then I want it. I end up loving it. So this is the 6x8 kit. So it comes with the um, ephemera pieces. And I'm going to go ahead and open these because these are actually smaller than typical, which I'm loving. Yes, girl. It's going to look bomb in a mini album. You're right. 12.30 in Arizona. You guys are on Cali time. So look at these ephemera pieces, guys. They're small. You know, typically these are huge. They're big as hell. Not the case with these. So cute. So you guys got to let me know what your thoughts are on this Simple Stories collection. Look at that one. It's cute. Got the little ornaments. Then we got these little tiny pieces. They're little snowflakes, little hollies. We got the hoe for all the hoes. So cute. These peppermints, I wish they were more pink, but they're cute. Got all the ho ho hoes. Look at this one. So pretty. The color seems a little darker. Like this. Turquoise seems a little darker than the baby blue in the collection. I wonder if I'm wrong or if I'm seeing things. Look at how cute this one is. You know what, Maria? I don't like lime green, but I'm going to show you this next collection, girl. I am here for the lime green in the Halloween one that I ordered. It is the bomb. I am not a lime girl at all either. I don't care for the color green. Except for my money, honey. Little present. Yeah, these seem like they're pretty darker. Oh my god, look at the little mug. So many pieces in here. Oh my god. 
Look at this one, so cute. This one is really adorable. Letters to Santa. Got a bow for all the bow hoes. Jingle all the way. The little penguin, the little Santa. Deck the halls. And then the little chimney. Fireplace. So this is the bits and pieces. And then they also have the journal bits. I'm not going to go through those because this video is way too long. But I'll show you the back. I hate when people show the back. <laughs> but I don't want you guys to get sick of me. Okay. And then this is the six by eight. Let me open this up. Oh my God, look at the puffies. They're so cute. Yes, and the album is going to look bomb with this set. All right, so this is the six by eight for Holly Days. May your days be merry and bright. They're double sided. Okay, simple stories. I see you. Holly Days. Holly Jolly Days. I love this one. Oh, so pretty. There's the back. So there's like lime green and there's a darker green in this collection. The baby blue I love. But the good thing about these collections, what I do, I pull out the colors that I love. So I would definitely be using more pink than anything with these papers. What do you guys think about this one? What are your thoughts on the rose instead of the poinsettia? I hope I'm saying that right. I always butcher it. I hate that flower. And then the rest is repeated. Okay, so you get two of every page. And look at these puffies. I am here for the puffies. I know how I feel about puffy stickers. Look at how cute. Loving the baby blue and the pink. Look at that mug. It's so cute. I like the roses too, girl. I think they're so pretty and very different. So these are the puffies. All right. So that is uh, Holly Days. Okay, guys. Now this next one, I bought three of this kit. Okay. Because it's fire. I grabbed two of the 12 by 12s and one of the 6 by 8s. And I'm probably going to grab another 6 by 8 because this collection is pretty. Yes, that's the 6 by 8 set. I love those roses. I don't know about others, but it is pulling my Mexican side. <laughs> so this is by Simple Stories as well. And it's called Spooky Nights. Okay, this is a new collection from Simple Stories. And I am in love. Let's do the paper first. Let's go through the paper first. I'm in love with this collection. I cannot wait to play with it. And I'm loving the lime green in it. Okay. Look at this. Oh my God, so pretty. So beautiful. Guys, if you don't know, I'm a Halloween freak. Like, look at this. So pretty. I love this dark smoky gray. Actually, Natalie's things will go perfect with this. How perfect would that go? Here's the other side. Sweet and spooky. So, guys, this is the 6 by 8 kit, okay? You get this paper. Oh, my God. Look at the little skulls. Skeletons. Love this one. Love that star one. Spooktacular. Look at that lime. Girl, I don't like lime Maria, but look at this lime on this collection. It's fire. I think it's so fire. And then it got the baby blue. So I'm loving the combination of the baby blue with the lime green. Very pretty. And if you guys got that Dollar Tree trim 
I just showed it from the Ebony's thing. It'll match perfect with this collection. So I love it when things match perfectly. So cute. It's so cute, girl. I had to grab three of these. Like I grabbed one of the six by eight and two of the 12 by 12s. So I'm definitely going to be playing with this. Look at this one. Cute little cutouts that you can fussy cut. Look at this. Oh my gosh, so cute. I love the little pumpkin faces. You can get a little circle punch and punch them out. Look at this one. My favorite. Oh, so pretty. I love this one. So pretty. Then we have the cut apart. Look at the little ghosties. <laughs> Look at the little arms. What? And there's a night owl. Yes. Come through. Hooty hoo. I love it. I'm baddie for you. So I told y'all, grab this collection. Nobody ever listens to me. They think I just be saying stuff to say it. Oh, I love the lime green. And then everything is repeated again. So you get two of each. 24, total 24 papers in a six by eight. And then let's check out the bits and pieces. I'm going to have timestamps for anyone that wants to like come back and watch it, whatever. Because I know my videos are long as hell. All right, let's check this out. So we have the little boo banner. Spooky. I feel like that green is brighter than the other collection and prettier. It's so pretty, girl. I'm telling you, I, I do not like green. And I am loving this green in this collection. Got the little tree. So cute. Got the house. Look at the details. Look at the little kitty on top of the roof and in the window. And then the two pumpkins. Adorable. I love it. Got a night owl. Yes. So cute, guys. These ghosts are so weird. Look at their hands. <laughs> mm, so funny. They're so funny. Then we got the little Spidey. So it's a very cutesy collection. Scariest night ever. Look at that one. So cute. So, guys, if you're looking for some Halloween inspiration, I do have a playlist. It's a Halloween. I think it's called Halloween Videos. And every single Halloween uh, video that I uploaded, all my tutorials are on there in one. So, guys, check it out. I will link it below. Maybe you guys can find some inspiration. Look at how cute. Some of this ephemera is almost duplicates of Hey Pumpkin. Really, girl? This one says Hey Pumpkin. Bat blood. Haunted. Bye, girl. Thanks for joining. The little kitty. And then we got these little tiny pieces, which are the bats, a little candy corn. Love this tombstone. Yes, girl. Make them tassels. The neighbors have all the good candy. That's funny. Pointing over the next door. A little kitty. Got a little spell book here. These pieces are... So, I love this piece right here. It's so cute. Little treat bag. Really adorable pieces. And then all these little tiny pieces. Look at this potion bottle. Ooh, so I'm loving the baby blue and the green, guys. It's so cute. I'm surprised that I really like this collection like this. Because I am not a green person, like I said. And I really don't have a lot of baby blue in my stash. Like, I think I have just a couple of trims and that's it. So I might have to be finding some baby blue stuff. All 
All right, let me get all this in here because I can't lose no pieces. I'm going to show you guys the journaling vids. I'm sorry, guys. This video is so long. But y'all know how I do. I like to show you guys all the details. I hope you don't mind. Here are the journal bits. I'm just going to stick that in there. Don't forget to use my code Pucci10, guys, to get that extra 10% off of your purchase. These little tags are adorable. Which is brew number one? This is like a ticket. So cute, guys. These are perfect if you do those. I don't know what you call it. I know that December dailies, but what is the Halloween one called? So cute, guys. Trick or treat. If you've got it, haunt it. And they're a great size. Really great size. I like this one. Got the little tickets. So cute. Oh, that one's adorable. I like this one. Love this. October 31st. Happy Halloween. We got a little tag here. And then this one. So those are the journal bits. And I believe you get all this inside the, of the kit, guys. Okay? It's a 6 by 8 kit. You get a lot in there. Let me get all this in there. And here are the puffies. Damn it. Little pieces everywhere. Here are the puffies. They're so cute. I gotta get some more puffies. I love this one. Love the books. Love the potion bottles and the candy corns. I love that one too. Oh my god, they're so cute, guys. I love that. All right, so that's the six by eight kit. And then I have the 12 by 12 as well because I had to grab both. So I'm gonna show you the papers. And then I'm done with this video. So these are the thickers. And actually on the site right now, guys, typically she has these all within a kit. You can still get them in a kit, but you can actually buy extras of the foam stickers, the chipboards, or the puffy stickers, okay? I actually placed an order yesterday buying some more of the puffies and the chipboard, okay? So you can do that. Go under stickers. It says like um, spooky night stickers. And then use a drop bar. You'll see you get to pick which ones if you want the chipboard, the puffies, or these thickers. So these are the thickers. These are the chipboards. And the chipboards are super cheap at $3.99. The puffies are $4.99. Look, I love this one with the books. That's so cute. Very adorable. I love the little trick-or-treat bag. Glad I forget to tell you guys that. And then these are the uh, this is the 12 by 12 papers. So with the 12 by 12 kit, you get the thickers, the chipboard, the 12 by 12 papers, and then the 12 by 12 paper pack comes with stickers as well. All right, so let's check it out. So this is the cover. You guys can fussy cut the covers always. Oh my god, this paper is so pretty. I love the baby blue and the lime. I really do. It's so weird that I'm saying that. Here's the back. So pretty. 
We got this one. Here's the back. You like the house that's usable? The plaid. The skeletons are so cute. These ghosts are so weird to me. It's like they got stretch marks and shit. <laughs> I love this gray. It's so cute. Here's the back. Then we have the pumpkin faces. Love this. Again, grab your circle punch. You can punch these out. They'll make really cute embellishments. Here's the back. We have this one. There's the back of the orange. I love this. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna make. Isn't it great, girl? I love this collection, guys. Tell me how you guys, what do you guys think about this collection? Is it a yay or a nay? Are you feeling it? I wasn't, I didn't like it at first and then Tara started showing it to me like on camera. And I was like, you motherfucker. Let me get three of those. Look at how cute. So same thing with the Christmas one, just Halloween, you know? Oh, I love this one. I love some fussy cut stuff like this. Do you guys do that too? I'm glad I grabbed two of these. I might have to try to find the single sheets of some of these. And then we have these cut aparts. So again, this collection is called Spooky Nights. Okay, she only has a few available because I have been posting it on Instagram and people have been grabbing it. So love this. Can't go wrong with the polka dot, black and orange. My Joanne trim, they're gonna go nice with this. And then these bigger cut aparts. I love this page. I gotta get extra of this page right here. It's so pretty. And then, last but not least, the stickers. So, we got all these little sentiments. Look at the haunted houses. I love this haunted house. It's so cute. Okay. <laughs> He's, like, leaving to the side. Don't love it, but I'm sure you'll make something beautiful with it. Thank you, girl. Yeah, it's probably not for everyone, but I love it. I don't know. I'm really liking it. And I typically wouldn't go for it like this. I love this book one. So cute. Okay, we got the little uh, ribbon. Maybe we can make some of these ribbons. And then the night owl. Let me fold this a little bit so I can show you guys. Too cute to spook. All right. So that is it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me to the end. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to link everything below. You guys just let me know if there's something that I'm missing, and I'll put it there for you. Make sure y'all run and grab what you want to grab before the savages get it all, because they're sleeping right now. And when they wake up, they're going to snag it. <laughs> all right. I love you guys, and I hope you guys have a blessed night, okay? I will be back soon with a crafty video. Bye.